Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we are not going to be playing a game, but instead doing something a little bit different. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that yes, I do enjoy playing games. More than playing games, I enjoy talking about games. And a series I do on the channel pretty often is called Top 10 Upcoming Roblox Games. I've done like three or four of these, and these videos are honestly really fun to make, but today's video is not just a Top 10 Upcoming Games list. Now, around nine months ago, I did my Top 10 Upcoming Roblox Games of Summer 2021 video. And as you guys can see, it's about to be Summer of 2022. So it's going to be my top 10 upcoming Roblox games of summer 2022 video. And let me just clarify, this list is not in any order whatsoever. I will say though, I am slightly more excited for the games at the top of the list and the bottom. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm done ranting. When you're done watching the video, come check out the live stream channel. I stream on here pretty much every single day and I'm probably live right now. So if you have some free time, please come check it out. And don't forget to follow the Twitter account. Right now we're trying to hit 25,000 over there and I mostly talk about One Piece over here. But if you're interested, please come check it out. And uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, right now we are trying to hit 105,000. Thousand subscribers, I'd appreciate it if you hit that sub button, drop like in the video, and let's shut into it. So for my first two games on this list, you can kind of consider these games to be honorable mentions as they have been released and are being revamped. So for my number 10 spot, I have Heroes Ultimatum, a My Academia game that I honestly really enjoy. This game did get shut down, but it is being revamped, which is why it's on this list, and the revamp actually looks pretty good so far. I'm not gonna talk too much about the first two games since they're honestly kind of just honorable mentions, but yeah, this is my academia game. The only issue with this game was that it lacked end game content. That was literally it. Aside from that, it was actually a really well made game it was kind of grindy but it was also really unique and innovative for the game it was so yeah take that with a grain of salt i like this game it's gonna be releasing sometime this year whenever i do videos like this i usually bring this game up because it is a good game in my opinion i just think it needs some more in-game content and may make it a little less grindy but yeah that's the first game for my next game i have another one that was actually shut down but it's gonna revamp and that game is hunter x hunter ultimate finale now this is a hunter x hunter game but this one actually did get shut down as well and it's being revamped same name same game every Everything, but it does look a lot different. I'll probably show some clips of gameplay on the screen, and you guys can tell that this compared to what it looked like before, it's a huge difference. Known of this game, Vidin is a great dev, and what he does is always impressive. I like his work, so yeah, can't wait for this to come out. Like I said, I wasn't gonna talk too much about these first two games since they are pretty much just remakes that are getting remade, but uh yeah, on to my next game. Whenever I do videos like this, people are always saying, Chris, why didn't you include this game? Where is this game? That game is Arcane Odyssey, a really hyped up, super anticipated game. A lot of people hyped this game up or hype this game up more than deep open which is crazy to me because i don't really know too much about it but what i do know is that this guy the owner of this game made a game that i used to play a lot the game was called arcane adventures but yeah vtex made that so seeing as he made that i do kind of have some anticipation for this game but aside from that i don't really know too much about arcane odyssey the only thing that i really know is that you can make your own magic kind of like deep open you can cast your own spells there's different classes i think i don't really know too much if you look in the game shallow what's releasing sometime this year most likely free and if not free to only be a hundred robux which is really cheap and it also says that if it's not immediately made free it will be made free within the next few months of development so this is going to be made free eventually i haven't done too much research on this game especially but it does look like it'll be really interesting and i can't wait for this to come out for my next game i have a game that i can talk about a little bit more even though i haven't really seen too much but i did do a video on this and it's a pretty interesting game this is a game called soul war and it's obviously a bleach game now one of my favorite bleach games is a game called bleach primera and after playing this game it really does feel like a more modernized version of bleach primera I mean, the combat is literally just like it. It's a Bleach game. This is another game that's releasing in the next few months or so, from what I can see, and yeah, it's just a pretty fun Bleach game. I myself can't wait to see these games come out because I'm a huge fan of, and I hate to say this, but I'm a huge fan of Bleach Bandit Beater, so I am excited for this. That is one of the few anime games you can get me to sit there and beat up NPCs for hours in. Bleach and One Piece. That is literally it. And for One Piece, it has to be a good bandit beat. But yeah, I can't say too, too much for this. It's a Bleach game. If you've ever played a Bleach game on Roblox, you know what it's like. For my next game, I have another game similar to Arcane Odyssey. And that game is Jigen. Now, from what I can see, this game is going to be an open world roguelike game. And this one, just like Arcane Odyssey, whenever I do a video like this, I always see comments, whether from the owner or somebody in chat. Chris, why don't you bring up this game? Where is Jigen? Now, this game is setting itself up to be similar to Deep Woken in the aspect that it's going to be an open world roguelike. Like adventure game. I'm not sure what all the classes, but one thing I do like is that they actually compose their own soundtrack, and I don't see a lot of games do that often. And I will say, music in a game really does help. Music can really help me like a game or dislike a game. So I really do like that they're putting in the extra effort, going the extra mile for that. That's impressive. But like I always say, we can't really tell too much just from video. We're gonna have to test this game ourselves to see is this on the level of a deep book, of an arcane odyssey. We're gonna have to see. But judging based off the sneaks that the owner has sent me so far, I am pretty invested in this. This looks like it'll be really good. I'm noticing that a lot of open world RPG like games are being made lately. 
I don't know, maybe Debo can impact that somehow, maybe it influenced it somewhere, I don't know, but yeah. That Shigen looks like the game has its own lore too, which is really cool. I'm assuming it'll have magic, classes, different weapons. It really is kind of setting itself up to be really similar to Deep Woken, which I don't mind. I like Deep Woken. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Jigen. Uh, I can't really say too much more for that. I'm pretty excited to see this game come out. And yeah, we move. My next game, I have a One Piece game. And this game actually does not look bad. And I'm only saying that because every single One Piece game I see does not look so hot. This is a game called Thriller Piece and it honestly feels like it has potential. I did a video on it a few days ago called This New Roblox One Piece Game is actually good. And it was genuinely fun. This game reminds me of Grand Piece Online when it was in its first phase of testing. And I feel like if it reminds me of that, it most definitely has the potential to become a really good game. Similar to Soul War, I can't really say too much about this seeing as it's a One Piece game and most One Piece games, just like Bleach games, are made the same. What I can say is after testing this game's combat out, I can fully believe that they might do something right with this game. The reason why I sound so skeptical is because like I always say, and like I just said with One Piece games, are never made properly. Besides a few, a few good examples, like One Piece Blue, Worldwide, GPO. But yeah, this is a One Piece game. It's called Thriller Piece. I am excited to see this come out. The styles felt good. I like how they made Black Leg aside from the spec tray. I like how they made One Sword style. I mean, the game just looks good. I like how they made Magu, Ice, uh, Suge is pretty cool, Bomb. Just the fruits were cool in general. And the craziest thing, and the craziest thing to me is that what you guys are watching, if gameplay is on the screen right now, this was all made apparently in a few months, which is crazy. So this game definitely has a lot of potential. My next game, I have a game that I've actually seen a few videos on. This is the Seven Deadly Sins game. This is a game called holy war x and i know you guys are thinking didn't this game come out a while ago well yeah it did but similar to here's ultimatum and ultimate finale it is also getting a revamp but differently from those two games this is confirmed to be releasing in the next two months or three months i've actually tested this game from the little bit i was able to test it is looking pretty good it's holy war is a seven deadly sins game from what i can see so far it definitely has potential to become a really good game it just depends on if they're gonna choose to take that route or not i think that after playing it a little bit they're gonna go down the gbo route where they made the game look really good have really good skills while also keeping it kind of simple i'm not mad at that i can't say too much for this seeing as one i haven't really watched all of seven nelly sins really because of the animation and two i haven't tested this game or played it too much before it released before all you guys need to know is it's a seven nelly sins game it looks good and yeah it's dropping in the next two three months so watch out for that for my next game i have a game that i'm actually really excited for and that's purely because i'm a huge jutsu kaisen fan this is a game called grand kaisen and honestly this is easily the best looking jjk game on roblox I am not taking that back. It is 100% true. Mostly because there is no other JJK game on Roblox at the moment, but if there were, you know, it, it would look like that. Actually, no, there is one more in development, but this game is way further in development. So when that game does get close, I'll probably do another video talking about that. This game has a beautiful skill tree featuring a lot of different clans. So for example, you can roll, what was his name? Inu, Inumaki, I think his name was Inumaki. You can roll his cursed speech as a family ability. And if you manage to roll that, it appears on your clan tree as an in innate sort of ability so you get moves like explode stop bling away you can use nanami's blade with his skills either dory's white flash gojo's domain i don't know why i forgot the name of that for a second there's also ghetto's domain the lava thing i forgot the name i think it was the tomb of something there's a the reverse healing technique there's the innate domain there's the what was it the simple domain to counter domain if you watch a red jjk a lot of this stuff makes sense to you if you haven't i probably sound crazy right now but yeah it's just watch jjk first of all if you're not what are you doing i could really go on and on about this game but it's really not that deep it's just a cool game overall so if you have some free time and you're interested go check it out you can buy tester but i think it's super expensive so i probably wouldn't this game is to release in the next two three months get excited i really would be for my next game i have a game that i've recorded two videos on now that game is jump warrior z now this is actually a really unique game compared to a lot of the other anime games on this list i would actually say that this is the most unique game which is high praise because you don't actually get that many unique games these days but yeah this is a game called jump warrior z if i had to explain this game it's kind of like jump force if you ever played jump force the game is called jump warrior z but if you ever played jump force the main goal of that game is to create your own tac custom made character and give it abilities from different anime. You can have abilities like Goku's Kamehameha, or Naruto's Rasengan, or Luffy's Gear 4, Gum Gum Pistol, stuff like that. There's also a bunch of different classes like Defender, Attacker, uh, Ranger, Supporter. So yeah, based off the class you go, you can get different abilities, certain abilities are stronger. So if I'm a Ranger, I can use things like Naruto's Rasen Shuriken, or Goku's Kamehameha, or even his Spirit Bomb. Now I'm pretty sure regardless of the class you go, you can still use all of the abilities in the game. But I think that certain classes are obviously better for certain moves. I could be wrong about that but i'm pretty sure it's true but yeah the game is honestly really cool and it also presents you a challenge it's not just like you sit there and do whatever
whatsoever. The game is slightly difficult because it does time you on everything. If you fail a timer, you fail a mission. If you fail a mission, obviously you can't go to the next one. So it is kind of hard. I'd say if you like a challenge and you're genuinely interested, go check it out. It is a fun game. I mean, you can't really play it right now since it's closed testing, but when it does come out, I'll definitely let you guys know. This game is set to release this year, by the way, so get hyped. For my next game, I have a game that's probably the most anticipated Demon Slayer game of Roblox at the moment. I think it's the most hyped up Demon Slayer game. I'm not gonna lie, but this is a game called Project Slayer. If I had to give a simple description of what this game was, it's pretty much Demon Slayer on Roblox, but it looks really good. Like the visuals of this game are insane. Like I said with that other game, it's going down the GPL route where it does simple skills, simple abilities, but everything looks beautiful, and I love that. Anyways, this is a Roblox Demon Slayer game. I'm not gonna go too long about this since I've done so many videos talking about it, but yeah, it's just a really good looking Demon Slayer game. It is set to release sometime this year, I believe, maybe when the next season of Demon Slayer comes back the game is just so unique the way in which you become a demon slayer the way in which you become a demon the different demon arts the different breathing styles i think right now they actually have the same amount of breathings as demon fall which is kind of weird considering this game is not even out yet but yeah i'm sure you guys have heard of this since it is literally that hyped up this game is extremely popular a lot of people have covered it i'd say if you're a demon slayer fan you're definitely gonna like this game i mean it's just genuinely that much fun if you played it then you know what i'm talking about if you haven't if you watch videos on it i'm sure it looks fun to you i am kind of worried that this game is gonna fall in the trap that gpo did where infinite combos became a thing because it does have a lot of skills so <sighs> I don't know, I hope it doesn't, but yeah, that's Project Slayers, and moving on to my final game. Okay, for my final game, the one that's coming out really soon actually, and is number one on this list. The one that I think I personally enjoyed a lot. The reason why I have this game at number one is not because I think it's the most well-made game here, okay? The reason why I have it here is because I think it has the most replayability, meaning I'm not gonna get bored of this as easily. And that game is Attack on Titan Evolution. Now, I've always been kind of big on Attack on Titan games, really because of the fact that, I mean, you literally just do the same thing over and over again, which is kill Titans. And yeah, I don't know how, it just never got boring to me. It's kind of like ABA. All I'm really doing is fighting with different characters, and yet that game will never get boring. And same with this. This is a game I can just hop on and chill and stream. Attack on Titan Evolution is a Roblox Attack on Titan game. And honestly, it is a very, very fun game. It has a bunch of different clans, Perks, accessories, it's just, it does things differently from any Attack on Titan game I've seen so far. It does good. One of my favorite memories from this game is when I was using the, I think it's called the, it's not the APG gear, it's uh, the Rocket Spear. I was using a Rocket Spear and I accidentally blew myself up and realistic stuff like that, I dig it. A lot of AOT games are released, aside from games like Titan Warfare, they don't do stuff like that. Just simple things like allowing the ODM gear to kill you if you use it wrong. That's cool, I like that. Okay, so I'm recording this part after I already finished the video. One thing that I didn't say about Attack on Titan Evolution is that this is genuinely the most hard Attack on Titan game I've ever played. I don't care what anybody says. This game is extremely difficult, okay? And it has multiple game modes, so if you don't want it to be too hard, you can go on easy. If you want it to be insanely hard, you go on Nightmare, Normal, or Extreme, which, by the way, I still haven't completed any of those. So the game is super difficult. If you want it to be a challenge and this is your game, if you want to feel like Levi killing hordes of titans, then it, it, here's your game. And it literally has all of its skills, too. Yeah, I just thought I had to put that in there. This is not an easy game if you don't want it to be. If you want a challenge, this is your game right here, okay? It's not an easy game. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know why I didn't think about this while recording. But yeah, like I said, the game is not easy, all right? If you do want a hard game, then this is your game right here. They're also adding in and shifting and they have a system where you can actually upgrade the gear you're using get different skills it's just a really cool game overall if you're into attack on titan i have a strong feeling that you're gonna like this game because it genuinely just is that fun but uh, yeah that's the last game hopefully you guys enjoyed this list i do like doing videos like this and if you want to see more content in this way be sure to that sub button as right now we're trying to hit 105 000 subscribers if you guys have any more ideas as to what kind of videos i should make in this fashion let me know down below because i am always looking for content and this was just another video idea that came to me and uh yeah see you guys in the next one later thanks for watching.